morning guys welcome to today we got all this snow Penny's there looking at me like he's out there saying let me out in the snow and Chino's out there whinnying too but in order for me to do that I have to clear a path for me to put the horses out and I have to clear a little area clear a little area so I can put hay out in their paddock another reason why I wanted buckets to put the hay in because I don't like putting in snow it gets especially a foot of snow we got last night maybe a foot and a half of snow anyways welcome to today you can see it's nice and sunny out it's bright early in the morning it's like 7 30 for me right now yeah, so I got a, over a foot of snow. And see, I want to make an area for them to actually eat hay off of instead of digging it for it in the snow. So, we'll clear this little area out. And then we'll let the horses out. Well, there you have it. I cleared off the area. I made a path to the shelter. I made a path down there. I don't know if you can see it, sunny out, path down there, path down to the shelter, that path serves as two purposes, one if I can get that shelter moved, it's going to be moved, <laughs> yeah, and two, if they need to go to the shelter, they can walk, not in the snow, but I mean, it's still a little bit of snow there, fed the girls in here, I closed that door because there's a lot of snow out there, I'm going to bring the tractor around and Shovel off the area there too. Hey right, honey. Oh my gosh. What are you rolling? You're all covered in shavings. What are you rolling? You're rolling. Look how dirty you are. You're napping. Nice and cozy in here. I'm going to quickly clean off that area and come in and clean this poop and then uh, They'd be good to go for today, and then I'll be stuck shoveling. I'll be stuck doing the whole driveway. <laughs> and there's a lot of snow. <laughs> See, there's a lot of snow on this side, so I'm just going to shovel it back a bit. Just clear it off a little bit. And then open the doors for them. Looks like Tino loves the snow. And they're fooling around, playing. Tino just rolled. I missed that. Oh, I missed everything. I forgot to press record. But anyways, Tina rolled in the snow. And now they're playing in it. They were galloping around the field. And I missed it all. She was trying to get Penny going there. Oh, there you go. There they go. Wow, what did you do to the camera? It is frozen. Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Uh, we are just up now. It's 10.30 in the morning. And I was just reading comments. Like this is why I love comments. Sam, you know what? We did this before. Or I've talked about doing this before. I don't know why we didn't think about it. Um, the camera just keeps fogging up. So how about we use our big tires or use some tires as hay feeders like that big tire that we have that extra one yeah i was thinking of that but um, i want to move it if i move it it just like now it's all full, it would be a full of snow oh yeah so i have to shovel it out Where so any bucket, i can just flip it over and empty it oh actually i disagree with that i think that it's easy you just drag it along it'll be icy and snow under there you just drag it a little bit so you're dragging it Onto another snow pile, just whatever. Don't you think it's a good idea? Maybe, but not for me. No matter what we use, you guys, it's always going to be something in the winter that gets filled with snow. Like, no matter what way you look at it. We're looking for something that you can feed outside. As it, did you feed the horses inside today? Yeah, because I shoveled the... Thing. Oh, okay. So Alright, you're forgiven, you're forgiven. Anyways, welcome to today. It's a foggy day. The camera just keeps fogging up. Anyway, uh, today's video is sponsored by Gabby. It's all about Gabby. It's all about Gabby Day. Today, Sylvia's at her friend's house, and I'm taking this opportunity to take Gabby shopping. Just Gabby and I shopping for an opportunity for her to get some things that she wants and the things she needs, and just for us to spend time together. And 
So yeah, get ready for a whole lot of Gabby. Hold on, just wait before we start today's video. Gabby's actually still in bed. I'm trying to wake her up so that we can get ready to go. But before we start today's video, I wanted to take a few seconds to tell you guys about this fight that I've been having with a good friend. Okay, so it's not actually one fight. It's a collection of a bunch of fights, a bunch of misunderstandings. You know those times when you're trying to explain something to your friend and she's just not getting it? And you're coming from a really good place in your heart and you think you're being kind and you're saying things to her and she's just hearing mean, mad, and negative things. And you're like, what the heck? Like, why aren't you understanding me? And she's like, why are you being mean to me? Yeah, those kind of disagreements. Like, sometimes I find myself in a place where someone I care about is not understanding me. It's like I feel like she's not hearing me. And then she feels unheard. And it's just this battle of back and forth, back and forth. Like, why aren't you listening to me? But I wanted to tell you guys that that is such a normal thing in life. And I want to tell you guys why it happens and what I do when that happens. Usually when that happens, it's because we're hearing the other person through our own experiences. So when I say, I love you to someone, they might hear I love you in a negative way because all their entire life they've been told they're unlovable or they felt inside their heart that they've been unlovable. So when I say I love you to someone, it can bring up all these negative, mean, mad, awful emotions that they have stored inside them. It can trigger them. So even though I think I'm saying something kind, because from my experience, I love you means I love you so much. And their experience, I love you mean just brings up how unlovable they feel. Because she's hearing what I say through her own insecurity, we tend to hear people through our own experiences. And what I do to fix it is whenever I get myself into a situation where we're having a huge misunderstanding whether it's my children or my husband or my friend so what I do is I take a step back and I just try and listen from their perspective and that is such a hard thing to do you guys it's so hard to listen from somebody else's perspective because you don't know where they've been you don't know what is in their heart you don't know what experiences they've had all you can do is trust that they need to feel the way they feel when they feel it. And so step back and listen through them. Let them speak and just acknowledge their emotions. I just wanted to take a second to share that with you right now while I was thinking about it because if it helps me, then I know it could help somebody else. Holy heck, that is one day, one night of snow. One horse coming in the right direction and the other going in the wrong. That's a lot of snow, you guys. Oh, I just saw the cat. You're just like me, Chino. Let's go. What if I'm here first, so I bring you? Whew, it's awful out. Absolutely awful. Your face is covered in snow. Oh. Okay, that was crazy. I literally had to jump through snow drifts. Hi, hi Willow. Oh, her feet are so stuck with ice. That is not okay. Here, let me pick it out for you. Oh. Penny comes in every day, goes right to the mini and squeals at her. And today the mini said, back off. Girl, I'm eating. <laughs> All right, you're good. Gabby's doing Chino's feet now too. And then we're headed out, but yeah, like, I think we're gonna do things different this winter. I like, built up so much confidence with confidence with horses like I built up I'll meet you at the car I built up a way to be like you know what I'm doing this my own way doing life my own way why wouldn't I do horses my own way like it just so much goes wrong like when you board your horse they're just there and you can only go so often like you can't be there all the time. Like boarding your horse is so difficult. It's so difficult because you're torn between like your home and your horse life. When your horses are home, your horses are your life. Does that make sense? It's like the more you're able to do for them to prevent problems from happening, like picking out our horse's feet every time they come in from the field and they're covered in ice. It makes so much difference rather than like going two or three times a week to see your horse and picking out all the ice from their feet. I don't know. I know horses are horses, but I just feel like when you domesticate horses, you change so much that they can't be horses fully. Like, obviously you do the best you can to let them be horses, but being able to have them home, pick their feet every single day check and see if they're warm, check and make sure that everything is working well for them. Like. 
just being able to see them and be with them and know that everything is okay. Comment below, do you think like boarding your horse is harder than having them at home? Obviously you can still have successful horses and board them and people do it all the time. It's just so different and just so much harder on my heart. Um, harder on my heart to have them home. <laughs> it's harder on Sam's heart to have them home. And that is true because he gets up in the morning in the when it is cold. But honestly, you know how people clean their driveways, their parking lots, like a big huge parking lots at malls and stuff? Why can't we do that to the horse field so there's not like 17 pounds of snow we have to walk through? No. Why do you think they love the snow? Penny actually was like, save me from the snow today. I think he said train me to come to the gate. <laughs> yeah. Get that bell and try it. All right, I'll get the bell. I'll train her. Gabby, what do you think? You think the horses, you think Chino loves being out in the snow? Nope. He hates it. <laughs> he hates it. So Gabby and I are at the mall and we just found these shoes. Like, they give me legally blonde movie vibes. If you were a short girl, you could wear these babies. They'd make you tall. But I like how they have like the little thing around the top. Guys, I'm in this super fancy store. Like, look at this with jewelry and a bench to sit down while Gabby tries on some clothes. Hey, we're working on building her like holiday outfit. Some fancy and some not fancy. Just getting things that like she feels comfortable and that she likes. So I'm getting to sit here. Like, this is what it'd be like if. She was like a bride. There's wedding dresses here. But man, I miss having a little girl and dressing them up in those fancy dresses. Met up with Sophie and Sam. Everybody ended and up deer. coming in. And a reindeer, you guys. It's Christmas. I wish my tree looked like that. That was beautiful. Anyway, Elizabeth, straighten Sophie's hair. Show them your hair. It is cute. I think I need a new hair straightener because Mine doesn't do as good of a job anymore. Turned out to be a really nice afternoon and we got Sophie back. And we're trying out the toboggan hill. And there's a really nice, really nice snowed in area on the toboggan hill. <laughs> Keep going. Are you even on toboggan? Okay, let's go. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, that's just a really steep area. Just go down a little bit more from there. That's a really steep area. This is not packing snow though. It's like uh, powder snow. Molly loves the snow. Slid off the toboggan. Yeah, this is not working out, is it? Well, pack it down. So you're telling me I should be packing it down with my tractor? Yes. Uh, all right, maybe but I'll. Then, like that, when you sand it, it's sick. Maybe I'll take the tractor. I got to get oil for the tractor first. So I'll pack okay, it then. down. What? Try this hill, or the other side there, or we go to the barn, oh, we're going down the or or down there, the other side, you know? Because I did that side too, so. Maybe we need a new toboggan. Maybe it's not slippery enough. Yeah, you're gonna need to go down the other side. Small hill number three. <coughs> See if this one works. Where are you going? Small hill number three. See if it works. Works a little bit. <laughs> ah, even Penny's laughing out there. Even Penny's out there laughing. Oh well, I'm going in. It's freezing out. All right, it's time for supper. Time to bring the horses in. She knows how it is. Girls are going to get their food now. I know where they are. Where are they? Where's Penny? A pen. Want your supper? Get in your spot. Yeah. 
girl pen. Girl. Oops, there you go. There you go. Okay, Willow. There you go, Willow. Pretty dark in here. Gets dark quick now, doesn't it? And Gracie, let's start quick. Is this yep, I'll plow this area today and pile it way back there. Oh, and you really need to get some snow fencing because the wind blows the snow this way all the time. That's it, put some hay out for the girlies. Gracie's just a spooking girl today, I don't know why. It's a spooker. It's a plastic curtain and you can put there for winter time. Horses can go through it. It's like see-through and it keeps the wind out kind of. I don't know how it would keep the wind out if it's blowing pretty windy. I mean, it'll still blow, but I'm going to look for it. I think uh, they're on Amazon too. I'm going to try it out and see if I can order one and yeah. So we got Chino in. Chino loves his stall. He's a, he's like a stall baby. You like a stall baby? He's like, I love my stall. Last year he was out all winter and he was miserable. Miserable. But this year he's gonna enjoy his stall in the winter time. Anyways, that's it for today's video. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know that